Welcome back to another video and as I know a lot of you guys have been asking about how do I make cooldowns for abilities in Minecraft. So that is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So first off we have our thingy here to activate the ability. Basically all we got to do is crouch with this. Boom. The cooldown the cool uh, or countdown starts. And as you can see we've got our ability which is speed. Four for a few seconds which is pretty cool. And this is an extremely simple system and you can incorporate this in any type of super ability or super power whatever customize it however you want so pretty simple as for uh, before we begin first scoreboard you have to add is slash scoreboard objectives add and then you add a scoreboard name to cooldown like this and then you type dummy and enter and then you're good to go and now we can start with the actual command blocks and as you can see right here it's quite a little amount of command blocks only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven command blocks. So this is very easy, fast to set up. So, first things first here. This basically just replaces item uh, with a normal nether star because as you can see when I use the ability, I get one right here, which is not droppable or anything like that. Just to show that the uh, it's on cooldown. It's pretty cool, just nifty feature. Uh, but basically here, it's going to replace it back when the countdown or cooldown reaches uh, zero. Then this one right here just puts your cooldown to minus one, just so this one doesn't spam uh, another star in the uh, eighth slot, because it might lag a little bit more, and so on and so forth, you know. And now for the actual uh, activation of the cooldown here, or, or the ability, is uh, we first start, uh, start off with this one, which is the ability you want it to give you, right? Uh, as you can see here, we have some crouch detection. You can change it to however you want, but just keep uh, the basic concept where basically when you activate it, it'll give you the ability unless you have a cooldown on one or more. Next up here, this basically just uh, gives the um, item here, this cool red thingy here, which says it can't be dropped and all that. So yeah, pretty cool. Now for the final one, this is uh, the one you put after you've kind of done all your ability stuff with the cooldown, is you actually give the cooldown. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Next up here, this is for the action bar. As you can see right here, you can customize this uh, name over here, ability countdown, however you want. And then over here, you can see you have the objective name cooldown as for this, this, uh, the display uh, of the number. This is only going to be activated if you have one or more uh, as a score on the cooldown scoreboard. Next up here, this is what takes away uh, from the, um, or takes, or kind of takes the timer, right? So 20 ticks is the same as uh, one second. And as you can see here, it takes one away from the cooldown score. So um, as you see right here, pretty nice. And for example, if we were to change, put this to zero ticks, it's gonna be pretty instant, you know, as you can see right there. And 20 ticks is one second. So, boom. And if you ever want to customize the uh, amount of time, you just go inside of, uh, oh, wrong one, this one right here. And for example, let's say, uh, uh, I think 30 seconds is too long. Let's do 15 seconds. You just change this number right here. And then you're pretty much good to go. Let's actually make this a little bit quicker. So we can, uh, oh, I turned it off. What am I doing, guys? Boom, so now it's at zero. All you gotta do is um, just boom, and now it's to 15. Because I changed it inside of here. Oh, inside of here. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.